Well, here I am. Just another beautiful day. Just working on machines. Uh, ready to get out of this business. Getting tired of working on this stuff. So, what I got going on here is this spring for the drive. I don't know why they use such a heavy spring. I mean, it just it's hard on the fingers, the hands. Um, on my other 48 inch hydro skag, the spring on it is not as thick gauge. Uh, it's it's a the, it's a lot easier to compress. I don't know why they went to a heavier ones. I guess over the over the years the the bearings go bad and the, you know it just it doesn't want to move as good. But I don't like it. So I'll show you what I did. I'm not telling you to do it. But I'm just telling you what I did to make things easier on my fingers. I went ahead and got a chain link and I cut it and I put it down there and it's a lot easier to compress. This one here actually, I'm not, and it's kind of rigged up here, but I actually grind it this spring here. It'll rust more, but I got two on order. The one exactly like my 48 inch skag, that's a lot smaller gauge and not so hard to compress. But for now, I just went ahead and grinded that spring away, take away some metal to make it easier to compress. But the biggest thing on that is I use that link, a chain link, to uh, make it not so hard to compress so it's a lot easier on that but I'll show you what uh, on my 48 inch skag but the part number on my skag is 48166 um, that's item number 33 there 481 or I'm sorry 481866 and that is the smaller spring for that one here. Not saying it's gonna work on yours, but it works on my application. So let me walk to my skag and show you it. I don't know, without putting it side by side, it may be hard to compare the two. All right, this is my 48 inch skag hydro walk behind. And I don't know if you can tell the difference, but the gauge spring is not near as thick. I did the same thing there, put a little chain link on the bottom, and my fingers thank me for it. Uh, the problem with these hi these walk behind hydros, um, I mean you can, you can eventually get carpal tunnel, for me it's just the fatigue. I, I think I'm developing carpal tunnel as well. But that's what I got ordered from this particular model, this 48 inch Skag Hydro has a, a smaller spring not really smaller it's just that the gauge on it is not as thick it's easier to decompress 